If it wasn't so difficult, everybody would be playing football. It's challenging. You've got to be a student first and an athlete second, and that's demanding. You've got to work hard. You're going to sweat, and, and you're going to be banging people. And, and uh, so it's, it's a real challenge. I need football in my life. It's something that I probably love more than anything. This team can do big things. We have a smart team. I feel like we could win conference. For junior colleges especially, Santa Barbara is a, a pretty good spot to be in. Um, I had other options in, in Kansas and stuff, but it's hard, to, it's hard to turn down a place like this. There's not many schools in the country that have, I mean, palm trees surrounding your stadium. And, and Santa Barbara is a place that I knew about regardless of school. Playing here, it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, check behind me. Got palm trees, sunsets, like our pictures go hard in, in the games with the palm trees in the background. I mean, it's just there's no better place to play in the country. I argue it's the most beautiful place to play. It's one of the nicest fields, if not the nicest field in the country. But if you're a guy who really wants to develop as a student athlete and get the best opportunity to transfer to a four-year university, Santa Barbara City College is, is, is the choice to make. We've been going since January. So we go into the spring and then we go into the summer one, summer two, and then fall camp. Uh, it's a long process and it's it's grueling at times, and but it's it's a grueling game and it's tough and, and we're really looking forward to getting the season started. I mean you get to Saturday and that's what you do it for. Really it's my first uh, football season in college, so I'm a little nervous for that. I'm just excited to just the just the win. We lost last year in overtime, so it's yeah. like I'm I'm excited to catch this dub. I'm tired of yeah. hearing coach I haven't talk played, about it too. I haven't played in a football game in a very long time, so I'm excited for that too. Being around a hundred guys in a locker room, it's kinda hard not to find a group of guys that you really enjoy being around. our first game and uh, some teams could have gone uh, downward and, and, and worried about that but this team didn't this this team persevered and uh, every week they have risen to the occasion and that's how you can win. In the morning, we got our 650 list, so it's going to be a little bit harder at first. Some people aren't used to working out that early. Consistency has a lot to do with like being successful here at CC. Um, as long as you're consistent, you know, always getting up, always putting in work every day at practice, um, putting in the things that you're bad at, like trying to work on the things that you're bad at, and um, that's what's going to get you success and have a good record like we do now.
Yeah, our trainer, Coach Aiden, he's gonna tell he's gonna look at you work out and then he's gonna tell you everything like that's wrong with what you're doing right now as far as like your body, what you need to work on. So he's gonna tell you the workouts to do and he's gonna get you doing different stuff. Like if you're hurt or if you're injured and the workout doesn't really suit you, he's gonna have you doing workouts that's gonna work on your injury and get you back right. I've been with Coach Aiden for a while. I gray shirted last year, so I was with him for a long time, and I really trust him to get my body right and like during the season to get me stronger, faster, and everything that I'm gonna need during the season. You want to go to the highest bowl? Your only possible chance is to annihilate this team every single day. Okay, you got to have some time off. I'm sure you guys are a little bit tired, but guess what? So is everybody else. Okay? It's a battle of attrition if the guys have to go the longest. That's what I'm looking for right now. So if you're a little banged up, okay, find a way. A little tired, find a way. School's hard, find a way. Life's hard, find a way. Okay? We got this week, then we got a couple of weeks off, then a bowl game. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. So you basically are living two different lives where you need to perform well in both sides and it's really, really hard sometimes to find that balance. I feel like football players especially, but student athletes in general have this bad connotation on them that they are bad students and they don't care about school. And I just am a strong believer that that isn't the case. Football is what makes academics more fun for me because I need to do well in school to, to be out on the field. You want to stay eligible, you want to go on after football because nobody really knows what's going to happen. Being, you know, in the best juco in the country and, you know, you always have to fight for your spot and it's, you know, never guaranteed. You know, my main problem was time management in my old school and, you know, here we have to stay on top of you know, all the stuff, school and practice, football. You know, just being able to be on this field every day is, you know, just special for me. For me to see the families celebrate their kids and their, you know, their sons, and and uh, that's what it's all about. And uh, seeing some of the people that we have, the loyalty. Uh, we've had a young man that got hurt, Josiah Roa, who got hurt. He never missed a practice after that, and his family has never missed a game. Yeah, my family, they just, it's like, they make that six hour drive every weekend, every Saturday. It just means a lot, especially right now since I'm injured, they're still coming. Having that support system behind me just makes me like, go 10 times harder. Family is the biggest motivation for me. Um, that's kind of why I play football. I want to take care of my family, you know, as soon as possible. And football is, you know, the easiest way for me.
to do that. This 2022 team really reminds me of a team who cares about each other. They play for each other. We're like a close, tight group. Um, it's really just a family. And I think when these guys are playing for their brothers, they're, they're gonna put a lot more on the line compared to just being selfish and just trying to get in and get out. And I think these guys have really bought into the whole, if we're collectively successful, then individually we'll have success. <laughs> It's just a really cool feeling for me to see that, that pride in their, in their families and, and, and the pride in this program. And it, it, it's really, really rewarding to me seeing that. This is the number one JUCO, as um, far as academics and everything. Plus, we're literally right by the ocean. As you can see, the view is pretty dope. Um, you know, I came from Chicago. Um, I came out here not really knowing where I'm gonna stay. I didn't know anyone at SBCC or really in California. Where I came from, you know, and how, you know, I had to grow up and how everything's been in life, uh, it wasn't easy for me at all. Um, but, you know, with football, it, it kind of made my life better in a lot of different aspects and ways. We have waited a long time for this day. Last year was last year. This year is this year, man. We are six and one and we need to play like it. One minute, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Even though I'm a kicker, it still feels like I'm part of that atmosphere. I, I prepare myself the way that I feel a D lineman or a linebacker would. I get in the same mentality as them, like I'm going to kick the crap out of this ball. The game's going to be for four quarters straight. All right, do your job, run down there full speed and smack someone in the mouth. Let's go! Let's go set the tone, fellas, let's go. Hit squad on me, hit squad on three, one, two, three. Hit squad! I want to impress my teammates and I want my teammates trust and in football you need to gain the trust of way more people than you would in any other sport. That was a huge, huge win. And I am supremely proud of the Vax. You will never forget this game. Two more, two more. Yeah. More Park Santa Monica. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Vax on three, one, two, three. Vax. Yeah. Yeah. I told you back then that we were going to do a fundraiser. I told you back then that I was going to do something special for you guys. Now some of you probably forgot that. This is a special group. This has never happened in my 17 years here. Okay? This has never happened. And realize what it is, okay? and how, what it means to me, okay?
We've been to bowl games recently, um, but this one is a special one. This team's a special team. So I ain't gonna say much. If I need to yell to get you to fire, get fired up, something's wrong with you. That's the beach bowl. That's the beach bowl. Hey, play confident. You are the champion. Play confident. Don't be afraid to fail. Hey, let's go. Let's take it to him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Hey, man, let's go. Sit for in here. Let's go, man. Let's go. They've gotten through some tough times. They've come back, and then to, to realize all that potential and all those situations and, and realize it with a conference championship and a bowl berth in the Beach Bowl, I think it's a, it's a great thing. It's a great accomplishment for the program, and uh, we're all excited about it. I think the, the young men are excited about it. They're proud of, of themselves and their teammates and the program, just as us coaches are. Uh, we're proud of, of where this program is, and, and we're proud of this team. I was just trying to take it all in, you know, running out. Uh, it was a great atmosphere, uh, last game of the year, out here at La Playa Stadium, and uh, I was just really just feeling blessed that day, just to be able to play in such a beautiful place with such great teammates and coaches. It's just a blessing to have been able to play here the past two years, and it was great to uh, finish it out on a win. That's W. That's W, bro. Did it. Got it done. Did that shit. All right. My roadrunner back. Ah, let's go. They led on a horizon shining. Back at me. Makes me think of my baby. There's still a part of me that's trying. Coach, ring us! Hey, tonight come in, this is what we got. Let's go! Hey, all that come talk, guess what? Ring me! Hey, ring me! 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 